Hi, this is going to be a quick guide on my clear speed oriented ethereal knives trapper and miner. So starting with a pass three, it focuses on physical damage, traps and mines, life, um, and some minor projectile bonuses as well as some minor spell critical strike chance bonuses. It also focuses on getting five jewel nodes because it uses four coated shrapnels there and there and one ring of blades of radiant jewel which makes ethereal knives shoot ten more projectiles and in a nova which means around you uh, in a in a radial uh, radially rather than uh, like rather than the EK being a conal skill like it regularly, regularly is, it, it becomes a radial skill. Um, what this means is that it, the clear speed is very increased because now uh, you shoot in all directions and you stack a lot of projectile speed. Moving on to the items, I only use three uniques. Eclipse Solaris. Uh, this is because um, it has a blind uh, it blinds nearby enemies. I use Cloak of Flame, which could very well be any other chest of your preference, as long as it fits into the build. Uh, personally, I uh, would experiment with Kintsugi. It also looks very good. And I use Deer Stalker, Deer Skin Boot. These are the core of the build at the moment in its budget form. They serve as a five link. If I were to progress the with this character further, uh, I would uh, get a five linked Kintsugi or any other 5 linked armor of your preference. I would move my setup from here into that 5 link and the setup on my chest back into the, the boots and the boots would become void walker for the free pierce which would grant you back these 4 passives on the tree as well as phasing which would let you use a different flask from the quartz flask. So what about the rest of the items? Um, I'm using uh, rare items to cap resistances and get life the reason I use Eclipse Solaris for its blind is because it synergizes um, with Saboteur's Born in the Shadows passive and compounds Blinding Assault. Blinding Assault um, gives you 25% chance to create a smoke cloud when hit and 25% and, and chance to blind enemies on hit. And Born in the Shadows synergizes with uh, the, the one that passive because it gives you increased damage against blinded enemies it reduces the damage you take from those blinded enemies and then increases blind duration the other two the other four synergy passives are bomb specialist which lets you um, really it lets you just actually access chain reaction which uh, re severely reduces the uh, cooldown of your traps letting you uh, cast them much more often and when your traps trigger, your nearby traps trigger. That's the last line in that passive, which makes the cluster trap support <coughs> extremely powerful. Now, past the blind, it also has um, a nice global critical strike uh, multiplier and critical strike chance against blinded enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for skills, I use hatred and clarity for my mana pool to reserve it. Hatred adds a portion of your damage and uh, cool damage makes it so that you either freeze or chill enemies that um, you don't kill outright. So that's a very strong defensive mechanic. And if you do kill them and shatter them, it removes all, uh, all interaction with corpse mechanics that monsters might have, such as uh, cannibalism, which regenerates their health and um, detonate dead from boxes and some uh, some enemies. Clarity <coughs> um, grants you more mana regen, so you can cast traps much more often. Traps are known for being very mana intensive. And I use Flame Dash for traversing empty uh, over empty terrain and going up and down ledges. In my cast and damage taken support, I use Vortex and Immortal Call linked to increased duration. Vortex. Um, works similar to hatred defensively. When you get hit often, uh, when you hit in, hit enough, it casts a vortex under your feet, which chills enemies. 
so it's a strong defensive mechanic. Shell slows by 33%. Um, and I use Immortal Call, which prevents um, physical damage uh, repeatedly, uh, receiving physical damage repeatedly from uh, bursting you down. In my helmet, I'm using Orb of Storms, linked to Curse on Hit, Temporal Chains, and Mana Leech support. Orbital Storms is what you put down in bosses so that you can slow them down with Temporal Chains. Um, Mana Leech is a very minor um, bonus to your uh, effective mana regeneration so that you can keep casting on bosses. It might as well not be here. You could run this on a 3 link if you're short on uh, fusing. It's a very budget oriented character. A lot of gems here could be cut or could be other things entirely. You could be running a Herald instead of Clarity or uh, a Hatred, you could be running a Purity if you really wanted, if you were really uh, running low tier maps and poorly geared. So yeah, Mental Leech might as well not be here, it's very minor, could be something else, could be blind. Um, and on this wand I'm using Vol Clarity, Increase Duration, and Vol Grace. So Vol Clarity is what I actually use to sustain boss fights. Uh, together with Vol Grace, it lets me uh, actually just put down all of my stuff and, and kill them. Vol Grace provides a defensive window, and Vol Clarity lets me use my skills without worry. Vol Grace can also be used when, when clearing uh, extremely difficult maps. Sometimes you get into dangerous situations in corridors against spellcasting enemies, and Vol Grace uh, makes sure you avoid those uh, dangerous spells such as fireballs and sparks. And then the deer stalkers I'm running Ethereal Knives, obviously, which is uh, socketed, which is um, automatically supported by trap because of the boots. And then I'm running trap cooldown support. I'm running faster projectiles, and I'm running cluster trap support. Trap cooldown support compounds the uh, saboteur passive, so you get extremely fast uh, cooldown on your traps, as you can see. Faster projectiles um, is just very good with ethereal knives overall. Together with this one here that has 34% projectile speed, the uh, knives almost go off screen. So it makes so effectively um, this this means you need less traps to actually clear the map. So it's it's synerg it synergizes with a uh, with uh, reduced uh, cooldown for traps. And lastly, I'm using cluster trap support. Because when the trap triggers, it triggers all nearby traps. Cluster trap support uh, gives you extreme burst, so you can actually you can actually sometimes even uh, one shot rares, despite n having absolutely no damage links, no direct damage links on the uh, in the boots. And finally, I'm using another ethereal knives linked to remote mine, minefield support. And trap and, and mine damage support. This is actually a hybrid setup because you can also use it for AoE if you run out of traps spamming or because you fired some blank that didn't actually hit anything. Um, you can put down the mines very quickly and they travel very far as you can see uh, off screen completely because of all your uh, projectile speed from the, the wand here that I'm using. It's just a blue wand. You could use any wand you like but I'm using a blue wand with spell damage and projectile speed for demonstration purposes. Um, so, so yes, you can use it as a secondary AOE skill in case you run out of traps, or to put, uh, or to, f or f as a single target skill for uh, actually finishing off bosses. But it, it costs it costs seventy one mana. You only have one hundred fifty uh, unreserved, uh, unreserved, so y you actually do have a uh, for uh, this exact occasion, which is spamming the mines on bosses. So now I'm going to run a tier 10 map. Tier 10 is just um, fair, I think, for a character with a on four links. I know it only, it only has 4k life, but it has a lot of offensive mechanics. It has blind dodge evasion. It has chills. And now, lastly, I'll go over my flasks. Earn a seeding divine flask uh, of uh, astonishing. This is very uh, normal in life builds. 
you need your blood you need your blade immunity a catalyzed eternal flask this is very good for um, quick regen that is an instant it, it has um, three uses as well so you can stack it if you're in uh, high damage over time situations then you have your uh, core mobility which is the alchemist's quick salvo flask of adrenaline you have uh, your quartz flask of steadiness which allows you to basically move through uh, packs of monsters after you're throwing your traps this is very good so you don't get stuck after uh, getting a five link and switching to void walkers i would drop this flask for a silver flask for an experiment or silver, sil silver flask for an additional 20 percent movement speed and finally we have a chemist's diamond flask of heat you want a flask of heat on this character if you get frozen you're dead so this is a crucial uh, suffix to have on a flask you want to try to keep your um, quick silver flask up all the time you don't actually waste charges it's um, extremely important that you uh, that you keep it up so you can actually avoid monster mechanics Lag. Okay, sorry. Should be good. Zana. Monsters remain now. I think that's reasonable. This is actually a very easy boss. This character. sketchy I had a pearl handy I wanted and I didn't realize I'd, I'd uh, actually rolled such ridiculous map mods 70% AOE <laughs> on, uh, on oak 
And I guess if you want to keep watching, I'll actually run the Zana map, whatever it was. Oh, coast. I hope you uh, you like this. This is just going to be a bonus map run. I'm very pleased with the uh, speed of the character so far. On a four leg. Completely just dirt from here. Too much fun with Yako. much regular EK. Also not a great map. Okay, there we go. Uh, some final words. Uh, if I ever put a 5 link on this character, which would in my opinion defeat a bit of the purpose of it. Obviously I can afford a 5 link, I just um, am running 4 link for fun, proving that it's budget friendly. If I ever do put a 5 link on it, I will uh, spec out of these 4 nodes. I'll, I'll, I'll grab arrow dancing because I think melee attacks are a joke. And um, I actually probably uh, get entropy for the poison. Or the flask notes. Probably the flask notes. So yeah, that's, that's some uh, final thoughts on what I would do if I upgraded it. After getting um, Void Walkers. And Five Link. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this is a really cool budget character. Trappers are pretty dead. Nobody's playing them. Let alone mines. It uses a blind mechanic. Um, it's just very cool overall. I'm having a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.